happy Friday, folks. We finally made it. Good morning, afternoon, whatever it is for you. This is Michael in the wee hours of the night on the graveyard shift with your daily trivia question. Yet, once again, kicking off an awesome weekend coming up. That's what I'm talking about. So the answer to the previous trivia question was what was known in baseball as a walk. It's also called a base on ball, so both answers were correct. Baseball has tons of history, trivia, records, historical data, all that stuff, stats. It's just a game made up of all that stuff, and it's a good candy store for trivia questions, by the by. So on June 16th, 1938, the St. Louis Browns pitcher walked Mr. Jimmy Fox six times consecutively in one game, the first inning third, fourth, seventh, eighth, and ninth innings respectively. By being walked six times in a nine-inning game, Fox set an American League record in matches the only other time before that when it occurred by a player named Walt Wilmot in the National League back in 1891. Now, with all of his six walks on that historic day, he also tied a single-game record for plate appearances without actually official at bat, which makes sense. He was walked, right? So Fox's walks resulted in two runs scored. So uh, him, uh, two of those six times resulted in in runs actually scored at, at home plate. So his zero at bats resulted in his batting average staying the same at point. Three nine, and that's what it would end as uh, for that year in 1938. Now Fox's record of six walks in one game has been tied three times since that historic night in 1938. This was by Cleveland's Andre Thornton in 1984, Houston's Jeff Bagwell in '99, and Washington's Bryce Harper as recent as 2000. 16. The latter two games went extra innings. So that matters is uh, apparently in baseball stats, history, records, etc. History documents that the historic six walks by Jimmy Fox at that time as both intentional and unintentional. I found documentation from Major League Baseball, from history buffs, history channels, history websites, and so forth that said both say it was intentional and unintentional. Who really knows? It's one of those factoids that yet to be determined still, you know, unless you were there. (laughs) I'm sure there are people who claim they were there. So Fox was a natural slugger, a little bit of history on Jimmy Fox. He was described as having great, powerful arms. This guy was basically like an ox. He just built like an ox. His trademark of sorts was wearing his jersey sleeves cut off way up his arms so his biceps could be seen. Wherever he would, whenever he would go to bat. In fact, that that's what he was known best as for, like sports reporters and fans and so forth. As he would uh, come up to uh, bat, his uh, biceps would bulge out. Uh, they look like somebody was quoted as saying his biceps look like tires carrying 35 pounds. Unquote. So Jimmy Fox is one of the greatest hitters in baseball history who doesn't get a whole lot of a uh, the major spotlight like Babe Ruth or Joe DiMaggio or Ted Williams, etc couple of cool geek factoids on Jimmy Fox. He was the first player ever to win three major most valuable player awards, rather. I'm sorry. And just the second player to enter the 500 home runs club joining Babe Ruth. That's pretty cool. And at the time of his retirement, he held more than a dozen major league records. And he didn't make it into the Hall of Fame until 1951. He was passed up several times with very low percentages. And just as a, and that's what, there's a picture of them here in retirement getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. He was an ox. He was just built like an ox, even in retirement. He was bigger than in retirement than he was when he played. Look at that. So uh, just for those of you who are wondering, the Red Sox won the game that night with the score of 12 to 8. That's pretty cool history on one of the famous baseball characters. I've learned over time that not to take on, go toe-to-toe with a baseball buff, somebody who really knows their history, because they, baseball fans in particular, fanatics, and really know their stat and their history and so forth. All right, folks, let's get the weekend kicked off right now with a brand-new trivia question for June 17th. Oh, this is a cool trivia question, folks. Listen to this very carefully and put your thinking cap on. On this day in 1963, by a ruling of 8-1 to one in a Pennsylvania case, the Supreme Court rules that legally or officially mandating this in public schools is a violation of the First Amendment 
and therefore unconstitutional. Now think of the First Amendment, folks, and everything covered under that, and go from there. Good luck. <laughs>